So we now have some split cane. This is the stage I normally would inspect it for insect damage or small weevils. They're like a tiny beetle that get in the cane. That's why I like to split the cane very early on. If I get a lot of cane from different plantations and stick it in boxes, and then I find I've had some insects in there, they can do a lot of damage and eat quite a lot of the cane. So I split it early on. You can usually see tiny little holes. This is fine. Um, and then when you gouge it, you do actually find little tracks that they've left and that cane becomes totally unusable. But this all looks good. So I've split these. Now I want to get this pre-gouged cane to something which is gouged and which is something you could buy from a shop which is smooth inside to make a read from. If I'm going to do any quantity and I put it onto my gouging machine, I'm just going to bunt my blade. So I have something in between which is called a pre-gouger. And this is not a sophisticated machine, it's just taking out the pith. I'd normally do it at a workbench rather than just on my reed table because it's heavy work. Often I do it in the garden because it's messy. But with this, we're going to feed in cane into the pre-gouger and turn a handle. And it has a blade underneath here which is just going to take out a proportion of the cane. So this is a, a sharp machine, but and as I push the, the new piece of cane in, I'm holding it down so that it's going in flat at an angle. I'll often also wear garden gloves when I'm doing this, because if I'm doing it at any speed, cane is sharp. But today I'm going to be a little slower and a little bit more careful. Now there's one come, come out, which is, as you can see, we've taken out actually quite a lot taken out like a banana. And so it's not that far off a gouged piece of cane. This might measure 180, um, so 1.8 millimeters. And once we've gouged it, we might be only taking it down to 1.2 or 3. So it's not going to take much more out. So this is a process that you're going to sit there and gouge, pre-gouge as much cane as you like, and make as much mess as you like. But the tip is hold down the cane whilst it goes in. And the other tip is, once you've got to here, this piece isn't going to come out until you put the next piece in. So I always leave either a broken one or a one which I've had before, or a little segment of one, just to stick through the end so I can get the last piece of cane out. There we go. Otherwise you end up with one stuck in the machine. So that's pre-gouging. Mm -hmm.